Well, some of the best housing programs are on big national programs coming from Washington, D.C., or some kind of, you know, COVID Biden housing thing. I mean, they're in there too, but the biggest thing and biggest opportunity really are local programs <coughs> because the national programs have to be, you know, uh, agreed to by everybody. And that's hard to do in these kind of politics. So what's going on now is local. And, and that's why you have to learn how to find these local programs because there's so many and they come and go so often. So you have to know the procedures to find what's available now where you live. Now look what's going on in, a, in Pennsylvania. Okay, they have a whole bunch of programs that just started and they're getting money from the state and also from state revenue funds that were set aside to help people with housing. So elected officials, state, local, county, uh, city elected officials know we have a housing crisis. You know, where there was, people are losing their homes, they're being evicted, they can't afford to buy homes and everything. So this is government's job, is to find programs to help people with housing. What could be more important than housing? Well, maybe healthcare, but <laughs> probably both. So that's why the government's involved. But you have to find out where that is. They don't come to you, remember, and you won't find them in Google because they're free. Google shows you programs where they charge you money so they could pay advertisers who find you on Google. So that's right, don't rely on, on Google. Now here's some programs here in Pennsylvania. Okay, uh, and this is a county, they have, uh, where is it? Uh, Pennsylvania Housing Affordability and Rehabilitation Fund. Okay, so they have a special fund in the state of Pennsylvania to make homes affordable and to fix them up, okay? It's a repair because all our homes are falling apart too. Now here's a sample of the kinds of program. Here's the one, they have $50,000 for apartment subleasing uh, and re-entry case management for women transmitting uh, from the judicial system. So they're getting out of jail and they need housing, okay? So that's a special program for that. How would you know to ask about it? No, you don't. You, so you're going to some realtor. They're not going to know about it. Friends of Association for Care and Protection of Children, okay? $200,000 to make sure that homes with children in it are not evicted, whether it's paying your rent, paying legal fills, bills or anything. How would you know about that? I wouldn't. <laughs> Brandywine Valley uh, Active Aging, uh, and that's $200,000 for case management, supporting individuals who are homeless or at risk for homeless or housing insecurity. Okay, <laughs> now this is special money. You're worried about being homeless. You're insecure and you have it. This is it. They have $200,000 to help you, okay? Uh, housing partnership, uh, uh, here's another one. $200,000 for a conservatorship blighted property pilot program to rehabilitate abandoned properties to be sold to first time home buyers. So these are big deals, you know, because the government's gonna put $200,000 into a home and give it to you for a fraction of what it's worth. See, that's the kind of thing. Uh, uh, oh, $200,000 for construction of a new container homes. Wow, they're gonna build container homes. I have no idea what that is, <laughs> but it sounds interesting. Habitat Humanity got $100,000 to purchase and renovate two homes. So if you have a home need renovation, Habitat Humanity has a grant to help you uh, fix that up. Uh, Domestic Violence Center uh, has $100,000 support homeless prevention services for domestic violence survivors. So we have uh, members who are that way. In a bad situation, domestic violence, they have, need housing. Okay, there's nonprofit organization, uh, local governments that have that. Uh, housing partnership, $50,000 counseling for housing counseling, financial literacy, and credit counseling programs. Wow. Okay, Westchester, $300,000 for housing locator program to assist low income residents who need assistance with securing housing based on their specific needs. So you're gonna to go to Google and say, oh, I need a house, I got cheap out. And I'm gonna get real estate, real estate agents. No, these are people that are paid to find the house that's cheap enough for you to afford and the deals that are out there. I mean, they're, it's panning for gold kind of thing. Here's an individual case management to identify and find solutions with the root causes for housing 
instability. That's what we're all facing. Transitional housing program for women. Uh, here's another $200,000 to rehabilitate a vacant garage to provide housing. Okay, yeah, get $200,000 to turn your garage into a house. Uh, safe Harbor, $150,000 emergency uh, uh, shelter. Uh, $375,000 to increase the capacity of a street outreach. That's to help people that are on the street to help them find houses. See, we have to do this. Uh, uh, it, it's like that every how do you find those where you are? Okay, a bunch of places to start. Uh, you go to findhelp.org. Now, I put it for my zip code. Listen to this. My zip code, put in housing, there are 500 organizations. These are nonprofit organizations uh, in within the zip code area where I live that are all nonprofits that help you with housing. Wow, you have 500. So you have to start going through that list. You have to call people, get information. Hey, I need this. Do you know if anybody needs that or whatever? You're not gonna find it by Googling. No, you have to talk to people. They know what all that. How do you know that? The other one is 211.org. It's the same basic thing. I like find out better. Okay, now that here's some free housing counseling. HUD.gov slash counseling. I'm gonna put all these links in the uh, description so you have them. Neighborworks.org. Or these are nonprofit organizations that help you with housing also. Call them, make appointments, talk to them. Say, hey, I have a problem. Tell me what to do, where to go. Your state housing authority, okay? Uh, and you see the membership directory, call your state housing authority. <laughs> That's the only way you're gonna get help is talking to people, okay? It doesn't come to you, you have to come to them because they're not getting money from you. They're giving money to you. And that's what we do at letsgohelp.com. Not only show you research like this, uh, websites that only give money, but we give money too. We're giving $70,000 every month now to people to do what they want. $1,000 or $500, do what you want. We have another uh, grant up to $15,000 every month for home repair. And we're giving away 25 laptop computers every month too, because people need a laptop to really get into this stuff and learn how to do it. So if you can't afford a laptop, you can't find one, well, apply for one of the free ones from us.